Okay, so this is a test. It's, it's a test. only a test. Late night video double feature test. And then I'll put it into the machine over there and see how it looks. So, uh, the movies, blah, 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 The Great Mile. Whoa, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, late night video double feature. Okay. Double feature. My name is Tim. This is Anastasia. It is October, which is Halloween. The month that has Halloween. I mean, what better holiday can be, you know, than Halloween? Because it's, you know, you could dress up and do all sorts of goofy stuff. And get candy. At least when you're a little kid, get candy. When I was a little kid, I got candy until I was about 12, and then I decided to stay home and hand candy out and dress up and really gruesome makeup and stuff like that. I mean, Grew up on Morgan Street, people may may remember this one house on Morgan Street where we, you know, took head candy out of a severed head and stuff like that. But maybe not, maybe not, it's just, maybe not, they maybe don't do that nowadays. But anyways, it's Late Night Video Double Feature, Anastasia's camera person. My name is Tim, and it is time to show two movies. Two strange movies that you probably have never seen before and you probably never will see again on any other station other than Cable Channel 9. And BW seems to be enjoying these, these films as well. Anyways, this month is our Japanese Ghost Movie Month. I'll be showing four Japanese ghost movies from the 1950s all in Japanese with English subtitles. Then after that, we'll be showing other movies like Carnival of Souls, Middle of the Stone Women, Dementia 13, or something like that, just to make up for um, having to sit through a Japanese film with English subtitles. 
I mean, half to make you're making up for. The, got, most of these Japanese movies are really good. They're good and they're rare and you don't see them any, anywhere else. I can guarantee you that. The only time you see them anywhere else is when one of those Hollywood people buy the rights and remake it. Oh my god, that's right. Japanese horror films. Well, they came into vogue like five years ago, didn't they? Yeah. There's The Ring and The Grudge that was remade and what was that? other ones. What was that one with uh, Jennifer Connelly? Dark Water. There you go. The original one was pretty good, though. You figured out the movie right away. and uh, Yeah. Uh, the original version I like is pretty spooky. Uh, they also remade another one uh, called Pulse, which the Japanese one is excellent. You should find that one. I think they just released it. But the American one, uh, I think it was in the theater for all the five months. Hmm. Well. It's whatever. It's popular, I guess, uh, with, with folks, with cinema folks nowadays. But, uh, so anyways, we're going to talk about the movies. It is, the first movie is The Ghost Story of Yatsuya. <clears throat> Sounds like some kind of, you know. I'm trying to remember if you've shown it before, and I don't think you have. I think, yeah, I showed it once, a couple, about two years ago. It is all about, as most of these Japanese ghost movies are, they're all about samurais. And samurais that have problems, and samurais that kill people, and the ghosts oh. come back to haunt these folks. And they kind of, the samurais all kind of look like Lucy here with her special getup that she has. All we see is a Lucy eyeball. Oh, well. That's and a bit good. of an ear. Uh, okay, we're gonna... Oh, and you know what? There's something else I thought about this film. And yes, it's a samurai movie, and almost every movie we show has samurais in it going crazy. And it's, uh, this is actually one of the best of these type of movies. In fact, every single one of these movies has, is, is based in the 18th. 18th century, and it's uh, based off a famous kabuki play about Yatsuya. And it's great. It's in color, it's gruesome, it's got a, we've got a weird zombie in it, and it's, um, all this stuff. It's awesome, it's great <coughs> Halloween stuff. What? Just, just out of curiosity, do you want to explain what a kabuki? Oh, kabuki play is, it's basically a Japanese play, a very, very ceremonial oriented Japanese play. I'll show you some kabuki images, but that... That would be great, thank you. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so that, that, that's it, that's it. And the second film, you'll enjoy this. The second film is an Italian movie from 1963. It is called Mill of the Stone Women. It's actually a Japanese, excuse me, a, um, a Italian, German co-production. I was about to say an Axis production that would have been a Japanese, German, and Italian production. That didn't happen. So that's basically just a German-Italian production. Mill of the Stone Women. It's all about this crazy sculptor who you think is crazy. He's also sort of a dabbles in science. The Mill He has a daughter who got some issues. And he's gonna, he does something to try to help her along. You may, I may not make too much sense, but when you watch the film, you'll enjoy it. It's a beautiful color, great widescreen print. Uh, it has little flashes of nudity here and there, but it's basically, you can't really see it too much. It's a European nudity from 1963, so don't look too hard. You, you know, you blink and it's gone. It's pretty much what they call PG-13 today. So, uh, that you'll enjoy. That, by the way, is dubbed in English. And the one fun thing about this movie is that you mean apart from the... Oh, the nudity? Yeah. yeah. Now, apart from the nudity, this, there is a scene they cut out, which has to do, you'll notice in one, one part, the doctor gives somebody something to drink and try to convince us him that he's the murderer. Well, in the cutout scene, the doctor gives this guy a drink, and he has like an LSD trip or something. And I wish it's in this print, but it's not. It's an excise for the U.S. release, and I, I wish I had that. Sounds incredible. I mean, you know, 1963 acid trip in a in an Italian horror film. So. An Italian German. An Italian horror German film. horror film. Yeah. Anyways, so that's it. Ghost of Yatsuya in Japanese, in color, in bloody color, subtitled in English, followed by Mill of the Stone Women, dubbed in English. And coming uh, the rest of the month, more great films. And guess what? Starting in November, we have. Kung Fu Spaghetti Western Double Trouble Theater every Wednesday at 9 o'clock. So actually this week, yeah, this week, 
I mean, starting in November, you'll be seeing late night video double feature every Friday and Saturday at 11 o'clock, and then Kung Fu Spaghetti Western Double Trouble Theater, 9 o'clock on Wednesdays. So all those people who can't stay up past, say, 9? Can, can start watching it. And I'll alternate between showing a Kung Fu movie first and an Italian Western first and all that other stuff. But I had such good reviews from people on the street about they really enjoyed the Kung Fu stuff that uh, we'll be showing it. It won't be the, the A-quality Kung Fu movies all the time, but uh, you'll enjoy it. So anyway, this is it. Late Night Video Double Feature. Enjoy these films, and we'll get back to you next week with two more intense films. Goodbye, and enjoy the film. Hercules in a haunted world. An unearthly world of eternal darkness. Ghostly kingdom of the un... On these horrifying, hideous creatures of evil, Hercules and his friend must their doomed kingdom and the women they love. Do you hear Hercules wants something? He always wants something. But when I return, I'll never leave you again. This I promise you. Hercules and Theseus battle treacherous, monstrous forces of evil in... The stone you are made, and by stone you shall be destroyed! I will serve you as your slave as long as you live. Save me, I beg Stop. you. Stop, it's a trap. Don't trust the shadows of Hades. Various fiendish Lyco, mastermind of terror, must be destroyed. Reg Park as the heroic Hercules. Christopher Lee as the diabolical. Filmed on a spectacular scale, in breathtaking technicolor, here is the bone-chilling motion picture the critics have called a classic shocker, The Mill of the Stone Mill. Why do beautiful young women suddenly turn to stone? Against this eerie background, a twisted mind has plotted a series of sadistic events you wouldn't believe possible until you see them. It's a corpse. Handsome Pierre Brice and Europe's fabulous new star, the extravagantly beautiful Sheila Gabel. They say that trouble began with a woman, and you'll see why in the terrifying Mill of the Stone Women. You've never seen anything like the Mill of the Stone Women, for until now, no one has dared tell such a shocking story on the motion picture screen. Oh, my God! Oh! Mill of the Stone Women is the entertainment event of a lifetime. <laughs> Don't miss the Mill of the Stone Women. Thank <laughs> you.